Hi, welcome to a new video post here at protopic.co.uk Right, we've got a, a brilliant update for you Arduino users out there and programmers We've discovered a way to use the Atmel Studio 6.2 to use the exactly the same uh, structure as your normal Arduino IDE and I'm going to run through what we have here just now. So to download the Atmel Studio 6.2, which is the first part you'll need, if you go to this website here and download this version here, just at the top, there's also a version uh, down below there with .NET if you don't have it on your machine already. And you also need to download Visual Micro from this site here. All right. I've already downloaded these, so I won't show you that process. And you install, first of all, Visual Studio 6.2, and then Visual Micro. Now, when the package starts up, you'll get this screen coming up. You choose whether you're using Arduino 1, 1.5, or the Teensy environment. You enter the location of your Arduino folder in the top box here. And at the bottom, you fill out where your sketch location is. And then you click OK on the box at the bottom right. And that will set up your environment for you. If you don't have the IDE, you can download it by clicking this button here. So click OK. Now this is the environment as it's set up. You click New Project. And you'll have a menu coming up. And you see here Arduino Sketch. Now this is what you use to create your sketches. We'll just give this a, a name relevant to the demonstration we're running here. So, so we'll call this one Visual Micro Demo and click OK. You'll see the solution name is exactly the same. The solution is a collection of programs. Now we we'll click Visual Micro and open or double click it. Now that the file is open, you'll see here's the path to your file if you wish to open it. Here's the name of your project with the time and date it was created and the author as well. And you'll see in here that I'm just going to add a comment stating exactly what this is. Now you see here it's put in the void setup already. I press P and the menu comes up with the IntelliSense. Press tab and comes up with pin mode, enter 13 for pin 13, and then O for output comes up and I can select it with my mouse on that particular occasion, remembering to put the semicolon at the end. Now here we're just going to write blink again, so DI for digital write, tab, 13 comma, H for high, tab, and then move to the end, put the semicolon in, and the same with the delay command as well. Now, as you'll see, this saves a lot of typing when you're developing your programs. Now, this is a very short program, five lines or so. If you wanted to develop a program that was maybe you know, two, three, four, five, six hundred lines, this is going to save a lot of time and a lot of your precious development times. You, you'll generally know what you want the program content to be and it's just a case of sitting down typing it. Now we're going to upload so I made sure that was on the Arduino Uno. The COM port in this case is 97. It's in the office we upload quite a few Arduinos. You press the play button it compiles the demo and it has compiled that. It's using 1076 bytes using 3% of the memory and took 6.45 seconds on the compilation and it's uploaded to the Arduino. I'm going to make a small change here now so if we change that delay to 500 milliseconds and that delay to 500 milliseconds and clicking upload you'll see that the compilation time there is down to 0.17 seconds this is because the compiler is a cache that makes things a lot, lot quicker. So now I'm going to show you writing our own function. So we'll void, we'll give it a name. In this case, we'll just call it test. 
put an open bracket and it'll automatically put the closed bracket in for us. We open curly brace and close curly brace, uh, well open curly brace and it does the closed curly brace for us and puts the cursor down to the correct point. Now let's say we want to know what we can do with serial, put serial dot and you'll see a list comes up of everything that's available to the, the serial call, you know, whether it's begin, flush, peak, read, it's all on there and you can select what you you want to from the list and the IntelliSense will fill that out for you. These are quite a lot in there, a lot you, you'll probably never ever use. So as you can see from that, that's a very comprehensive IntelliSense system where you type a command, put your full stop and then it'll give you all the available subcommands or functions within that command. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.